Okay guys, I just finished the tutorial section of Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins and the performance is absolutely all over the place and that's what we're going to be testing out in this video. I heard this game uh, had some maybe optimization issues on PC. Now currently we're at 4K and we have this at um, the maximum settings. Now it says custom. Because if you go to the maximum settings, now this is a big deal, so pay attention guys. If I start out at maximum settings, first of all, it sets my FPS to 60 and it turns FPS priority mode on. Now let's be clear about what FPS priority mode is. This is a dynamic resolution scaler, so it will render below your monitor's native resolution that you've selected in order to try to maintain whatever FPS limit you set here. So. Let me show you. If I set to 120 and turn this off, we now will not dynamically resolution scale, which is why this now says custom, but I'm actually at what are the maximum settings. Now there's a few settings you can adjust in this game. We've got texture detail, shadow quality, shadow distance, anti-aliasing, but a lot of these things are just on or off. There's not, uh, not really anything in between. So this at least does have more graphic settings than I saw in the Final Fantasy VII Intergrade. And while that game had the dynamic resolution scaling, at least in this game you can turn it off, which is what I wanted <laughs> in, in that game. I don't know if that game got updated to give you that feature, but um, yeah. Anyway, also notice our VRAM usage right now is all the way up to 10 gigabytes. Luckily I have the 12 gigabyte version of the 3080. Now, if we actually look at, this, at the performance right now, it seems like we're doing pretty well. We're well over 60 FPS and all that. But what I noticed in combat, which we don't have right here, but also if I just go to talk to a character, watch the frame rate counter. It's gonna absolutely tank depending on what's going on on screen. We're dipping down into the 40s there, just for getting like a close up on a character. You look every bit the warrior. I can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. Dipped into the Even 30s so, there for a second. I kindly ask that you smile in front of my daughter. So we can see that we absolutely dip below 60 FPS. And that's just talking to characters. You might be like, well, it doesn't really matter if you're just talking to a character. Okay, fine, but that also happens in combat. Whenever there's any effects on the screen. I saw in the initial fight uh, that the game opens with, dropping down into the 20s on my 3080. Now granted, it's at 4K, but it should not be this all over the place. Now, let's go ahead and test out what that dynamic resolution scaler could do for us. So if I set a 60 FPS target, or you know what, let's go with the 120 FPS target, because that's what my monitor is capable of. We can clearly see that in some scenes we can go above 60. If I turn this on, now if you're on a 4K screen like me, and you might not be, you can definitely tell uh, that the characters are, are looking quite a bit blurrier, especially if you look at the king in the background there. Like, I've lost tons of detail off that. I can tell I am way, way below 4K right now. And you can also tell that we're still not hitting that 120 FPS target, which I don't have a problem with. I'm not expecting 120 FPS at 4K, although honestly the graphics in this game aren't particularly impressive. Let's see if we can at least hold the convo where Sarah above 60. She said she wanted to speak with you, but... Hey guys, we were actually able to ma maintain 60 FPS during a conversation. That's uh, something, I guess. How about this one? Crystal's blessing be with you always. We await news of your victory. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, uh, the game is all over the place. Now in this scene, we can hit hit up to 120. All right, let's go ahead and play around a bit more and just kind of see what happens. But once again. I think this dynamic resolution scaler looks quite bad, but if the, you're combat focused, you might want to consider using it. But if you feel like things are looking blurry, that is what is happening, okay? So in the sake of testing out actual performance in this game, I'm gonna turn that off uh, so that we can see what my GPU is actually getting at 4K resolution. Okay, the next thing I want to do is test out what if we actually turn down the settings. So if I go to standard, so there's basically we've got max, standard, and min, and then custom. So we're going to go to standard, 
But once again, that turns on the resolution scaler. So I'm going to turn that off once again so that we can actually see what's happening here. OK, so at standard, you know, to, just to my eye, things don't look all that different. Let's go ahead and test out. She said she wanted to speak. Yeah, we're still still dropping frames in conversation. Doesn't seem great. Let's see if going down to minimum does anything. So if I go down to minimum, look, I think the main thing it's changing is just how low it'll go on the resolution scaling. Like like the minimum, the minimum is mainly just lowering my render resolution. Look, it just set it to 70%. And now that king looks really grainy and terrible. Now my performance went way up. But it looks like the primary thing they do in this game to try to increase your performance is just lower the render resolution. And the render resolution scaler that they're using is not very good. So if you feel like this game looks like a grainy mess, it's because you've either lowered the render resolution or uh, it's it defaulted to having this F FPS priority mode on. So I think that's what's happening. So once again, I'm going to turn that off and go back up to 100%, but other than that, leave it at the minimum settings. Kind of see what sort of performance we're getting here. At least the king isn't so much of a blurry mess anymore because I'm at my native resolution. Let's see if it can, at minimum settings, hold 60 FPS in a conversation. She said she no, still dropping to 50. <laughs> Still, still not good. All right, so what we're going to do now, because it seems like going down to the minimum settings didn't really do a whole lot, is I want to actually give you guys some gameplay here. Uh, and we're going to do it at the... Uh, should we go standard or should we go maximum? I think we're going to go maximum because there didn't seem to be a very big performance difference between maximum and standard to be entirely honest. It seems like the main thing they do is just render scale. Okay, so we're gonna be at the maximum settings, at native resolution, and play the game a little bit for you guys. So this will be a bit of an extended gameplay test Many now. Warriors have come before us, but you 30 FPS in conversation. Great deeds. Wonderful. So 30 FPS in conversations, and let's go ahead and head out. Do I have a sprint button? There we go. <laughs> Since I kind of skipped over the tutorials, I don't actually know how to play this game, guys. We've got some pre-rendered cutscenes that just go to 30 FPS, and I can tell that they're definitely not 4K. What's going which, on? I mean, fine, but it's a bit immersion breaking. I, I wish these could have just been actually rendered in the in the engine in real time. All right, the next morning, let's see what happens. And by see what happens, I mean let's skip around and just kind of try to get to some combat. Okay, I didn't read any of that, but we're going to start the mission and hope for the best. Uh, so my knowledge of this game is that it's made by the developers of Neo. Team Ninja, and I did like Neo. I never played Neo 2 yet. That's on my on my to be played list, but I, I quite enjoyed Neo itself. All right, we've got some uh, neat little intro here, but once again, I want to get to the actual in engine rendered stuff. This will be a walk in the park. Come on, but watch yourselves. Okay. So I think, uh, what does what touching the cubes do for me? So this is your, you know, Dark Souls style resting point thing, seems like. Okay, so we lock on for combat and attack some things. Notice we are dropping to 40 <laughs> on that little uh, effects trigger. Look at that frame time graph. No, I don't think that this is just something that's going to um, stabilize the more we play. For one thing, this is DX11, not DX12, so I'm not expecting this to be some DX12 um, 
asset loading stutters. Again, I don't mind the RTX 3080 not being able to play a game locked to 60 FPS at 4K. I really don't mind that. My issue with it is that this game doesn't look very good for the performance that you're getting. Now then, let's go. And that the main settings adjustments seem to primarily be um, the render scaler. So do I not have a jump button? Okay. Oh, I wanted to just jump. Do I have a jump button that I'm just I'm just ignorant of here, guys? <laughs> is is this where our gameplay ends? Because I don't know how to jump. <laughs> oh no. Can I get through here? Oh, there's stairs, guys. There's stairs. You know, since Elden Ring added in jumping, I'm used to Dark Souls style game having jump now. Back. There's one down there. Let's take it down. Let's take it down. Oh, what, the, what is this thing? Oh, it's just info. Okay, guys. We're just gonna test out some more combat here. Damn. Where does all that darkness come from? A monster just... Wow. Guess the darkness wasn't bad enough. Okay. Notice we're dropping into the 40s. 30s now. I, like I said, don't really feel like there's a whole lot going on on screen either. So I'd like to test something out here. So if I render scale to about two thirds, that's gonna be simulating 1440p. It doesn't look like I can adjust the resolution directly right now. Um, oh wow, you, you don't have a lot of options here. So a two thirds would be 67-ish percent would be 1440p. So if I go to 70%, this is basically gonna be a f slightly above 1440p render. And I'm just curious how the performance is going to be. It's looking like we're still going to have drops below 60. At least I saw a little bit there. Nice one, Jack. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. Now, while I can be forgiving of dropping below 60 at 4K maximum settings, if we can't hold decent frame rates on an RTX 3080 at four, uh, sorry, at 1440p ish, I know 70% isn't exactly 1440p, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be upset. I'm also just not super impressed by the render scale here. Some games have better render scalers, that's all I'll say. Okay, so basically I think magic can still hit me if I guard, so just dodge things. Or press B as go attacks. Okay. If we can breathe, we can fight again. Right. Well, so far, other than that one little initial 
scene where I killed the big boss thing, I was I I've stayed over 60, but oh sorry, I was staring at my. Uh... <laughs> I was staring at my, what do you call it, frame rate counter rather than paying any attention to the combat. Maybe for this testing I should have chose story company. mode. Yeah, Especially since I'm not paying any attention to the tutorials of how to actually play the game. Yeah, dropping below 60 there for a second. And the frame rate is just all over the place. Lots of bombs to fight. Well, once again, I, I, I apparently absolutely suck at this game and should have paid more attention. However, what I'd like to take this opportunity to do is to go down to a 50% res scale, which would be 1440p, because if you cut 3840 in half, that's 1920, and if you cut 2160 in half, that's 1080. So a 50% res scale is 1080p rendering, looking quite blurry now on my 4K oh, well, screen. This will be a breeze. Maybe I'll pay attention to combat now, we'll see. <laughs> no guarantees. So you can see in s some scenes we're clearly well of, you know, over 100 FPS at 1080p. But then, just some of the effects and things just seem to really, really take tank the frame rate. and how we can do better next time. You okay well, potions? should we take a breather? I would really like to see the 3080 um, not dipping this low with just a few em enemies on screen. Remember, we are rendering from 1080p, right? Ooh, we're, we're down to 50 FPS. At a 50% res scale, this is 1080p, guys, on an RTX 3080. The worst thing about it is just how unstable it is. Like, look, we're at 120 FPS, but a minute ago we were down at 50. Like. The instability can be more jarring than if you were just playing at a locked 50. go ahead and end it here because for one thing I don't know how to play the game and for another thing um, I think we've established that the performance tanks badly even on an RTX 3080 12 gigabyte and by the way if you're like it's because you're up to your your maximum 10 gigabyte memory on your 3080 this is the 12 gigabyte 3080 all right I and by the way our memory is at 10 gigabytes right now despite the fact that this is currently at a 50% re render scaling so it's rendering at 1080p. That's interesting. I hope all of you have an excellent day.